So I know I'm not talking much, but what I'm doing now that I got this color down, I'm just like filling in the patches with anything that looks like it would go with blue to purple. If I'm going to get into green or yellow, I'll switch my sticks, but I'm just trying to move the paint around, get rid of any holes. The more care you take doing this before you swipe, the better. This is a panel that I did the uh, bottom of the bottle thing on. I didn't like how it turned out. I washed this panel off. And now I'm just taking the same colors that were going to be in my piece and laying them on here to do a pour. Be interested to see how the black reacts to all of this uh, clear pearl up here. I hope it gets some nice streaks. An awful lot of that hot pink there. I hope I didn't overdo it, to be honest. Didn't want quite that much there. <clears throat> and uh, just gonna go a little up and down with the green. There's a little thing I can feel in with some green right there. This is that neon green from Artist Loft. It's really pretty. And it just makes things pop. There is silicone in this. So again, I'm just looking for the bare wood anywhere where I need to go in and touch this up. And you take the time to do this. You have a much nicer piece. You want to have a bunch of excess paint and then holes you got to fix after you do the swipe. Just try to take a clean finger and kind of just dab the colors together. Again, I don't like this gap here. Probably most of this probably won't pop through, but I'm not as well. Uh... Do this. Okay, so let's take some black. And my normally I'm using acetate. I'm going to try to use the painter's thing just because I've got a better handle on it than I did year ago when I tried to first use this tool. Bring this iridescence down in here. So I've got a strip of black. Try not get to get too fat of the strip of black. My acetate is in the other room, so I'm gonna to try to use this. does work. Okay, I need something smaller. The business card's better. This is actually too stiff. I'm going to try to get this to work, just kind of gliding this over the top. And I think I'm going to try to go up the opposite way. Call me crazy, but I'll introduce the black this way. Oops, that's not going to work. What am I going to do? Okay, we have an emergency here. so far that was popping through. I'm going to tilt everything this way. I 
one like in these big cells popping up here. I touch up just this top spot here with my finger. Oh my god. Look at this. Oh, this is even prettier than the rest. This has got to be one of the prettiest swipes I've ever done. Oh, look at that. There's a little corner over here where it missed. If you guys can see this. I think I'm going to try to just take a tiny little business card or something small and fix that because I don't want to touch. Well, I really don't want to touch this. Look at that. Oh, this is so pretty. And it's wood, which means I can resin this. You can resin canvas too, but because resin dries stiff, wood is the preferred surface for resin. Okay, so now you guys can see it, how I'm seeing it. Only thing I'm gonna do Try to fix this one little spot. I don't know if it's gonna work. Oh yeah. Look at those big giant cells. Those are all the iridescences that I I uh wow. <laughs> I was disappointed. I thought wow, I failed on my bottle cap bottle bottom pour, you know, the bottom of the bottle pour. I couldn't get this. I saw this woman do yellow, orange, and a black, and it looked like the, a Georgia O'Keeffe pansy, so I kept seeing this flower in my head. Of course, I got a little bit too detailed. <laughs> okay, well, wow, colors used in this, and I will put the list with Snapdragon, French Lilac, Blue Pearl mixed with a little bit of Snapdragon. That's this beautiful color right here. Um, a little ginger flower and some iridescent. Uh, I don't know if I can. I don't want to disturb this, guys. I really don't want to disturb this, but I want you to see these big giant cells forming here on the bottom. Anyway, um, I'm going to have to let this set and dry. I don't want to mess with this sucker, keep moving around because it's really, really wet. So, I'm gonna end this thing right here. You can see it. If you, I hope you guys have a beautiful day. I'll get a photo of this once this dries. Thanks, bye. So this is what it looks like dried. I'm fluffing the texture up top. The bottom half I think I'm going to fix, but this area on top, it is so metallic from that pearl green and pearl blue that I mixed those colors in. Oh, wait a minute. They were both pearl blue, but it had a little bit of violet in one area and um, pearl blue with a little bit of blues in other areas. But these are coming off so amazing. I wish the camera could pick it up. Once I put resin on top of this, and this is cradle board. And this back is real pretty. This is cradle board, so it's going to do really good with resin. Now the bottom half came out a little funny. We all have those parts of our paintings that we like or we don't like. So I'm probably going to touch up the black here, maybe. I'd like to put some other colors because somehow this bottom half just looks like it doesn't fit yet. It doesn't look finished. So I can either just uh, actually touch up the parts that are not black that are not black with black, and then believe it or not, if I go over with a really dark teal or dark blue, it'll turn this black into a really pretty blue flame look that looks black until it moves and it looks blue. Okay. Then what I can do is resin over this, and if I have to do some kind of float of color on top in a second layer, I can. 
or I could probably apply a little bit of more color in here. Not quite sure, but I wanted you guys to see what this looked like completely dry after the swipe. Stay tuned.